And now let's go out to the desert, the Valley of the Sun, and welcome in a man that has really done a terrific job for the Dodgers this year. Currently the center fielder, Alex Verdugo. Alex, thank you for jumping on today. Of course. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, Alex, so three rookies, back-to-back walk-offs, so incredibly cool. Of that group, you're the veteran. How weird is that? You've been up here longer than they have. <laughs> yeah, definitely weird. Uh, definitely very weird, but, I mean, I feel like all of the rookies, everybody who comes up, um, I feel like the veteran guys and the team have really, you know, welcomed us and kind of just had open arms and, and just kind of just, you know, let us jump in and feel super comfortable. So, you know, that's that's why you're kind of seeing the results that you're seeing from, you know, not just me, but from, from all our, our rookies, you know, Garlic, uh, Will Smith, Matt Beatty, all these guys are, are coming up and, you know, in big situations are, are, are having success. You know, I, you know, Alex, I, I, I got to give a shout out to the Dirty T because you and I are both from Tucson and, and to Tucson yeah. Saguaro High School when we both went. So I got to give that shout out first. Um, but you being from Tucson, being from Arizona, what's it like playing the Diamondbacks there? You got to get a bunch of tickets. What's your insight when you go back home to play? Uh, for me, I love it. You know, I love coming. I love coming home. Um, I grew up, like you said, in Tucson. So, just uh, I was always a big time Dodger fan. I mean, in Tucson, we had the Sidewinders and and all that. So, I grew up watching them. But now, you know, it's kind of different playing on the Dodgers. We have a little rivalry against them. So, um, for me, I just I love coming here. I love love having all my family and and that come out. But. Uh, yeah, my mom. My mom has been huge. Where you know she she handles all the tickets. She she uh, figures out how many she needs, whether it's you know twenty, thirty, forty, and you know she kind of starts uh, figuring out and telling people how to get tickets or or how they're gonna do it. So she helps me out in that part where I just need to focus on playing ball. And then after the games, I kind of have to do like a little little greet with you know <laughs> forty forty family members on the field or something. Alex Verdugo joining us, Fred Rogan, Rodney Pete, AM570, LA Sports. You know, Alex, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. So you're in AAA, you're in the minors, they bring you up, you get a little cup of coffee, you go back down. Did it ever get to a point where you just thought in your mind, good God, I'm ready for the big leagues. Get me up here sooner? Um, Yeah, I mean, I think so. When I got called up in 17, it was in September. So, like, at that point, I was just I was just super excited. Like, you know, I was very, very happy just to be up in the big leagues and kind of, kind of see what it's about. And then in 18, when I kind of went up, had some success, and then I got sent down because of, you know, obviously people got off of the injured list and came back. Um, I mean, it sucked a little bit. You know, it was kind of like, you know, like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm performing, I'm playing well. But, you know, you understand it. You I, I went up there and I knew I knew what the role they wanted me in. I knew I knew what I had to do. So um, for me, it was just try to go out there, play hard, and you know, just make an impression for the next time. Like if I like when I do get called back up, you want them to have confidence in you. And I just kind of kept wanting to show them like every time you get up, I come up. Like I'm gonna play for you and play hard, and you know, I'm gonna try to come through for you. So you can count on me. Alex, you know, when people look at you from afar, whether they know you or not, I mean, I, I think they can see that you're a guy with tremendous amount of confidence in his ability and himself, and, and and I'm sure you've always been that guy. And I heard Dave Roberts say something about you, that, that the big stage never affects you and, and that you look forward to the big moments. Is that the way you've always been? That's the way I've always been, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's it's just I've always wanted that opportunity, you know, it. it we we all know this game's hard, man. Everybody knows you fail majority of the time. Like we we all get it, and we still hate to fail. Like you know, that's just that's just being a that's just being a competitor. Be that's just what fuels us. So for me, I want to be given that opportunity to fail. You know, in, in that big situation, I want to be. I just want to be put up in there because I mean, what's the worst that you that that happens? You strike out. You don't you don't get the job done. Like all right, cool. If that's the worst that happens. Like, let me go up there and let me show you what could happen then. Alex Verdugo joining us. Fred Rogan, Rodney Pete on AM570 LA Sports. Dodgers in Arizona tonight. So now you're really playing. You're up full time. What's been the biggest adjustment for you, Alex, since now this is your regular gig? Um, 
yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's really – biggest adjustment would really just be kind of like sticking with my routine, and that's kind of been the biggest thing for me always, like playing every day, all that stuff. Like you get used to it. Your body gets used to it, everything. So for me, it's just day in, day out. You know, everything I do when I go to the field, I want to keep a, the same routine. I want to keep, you know, so that every day I kind of have like a, a pretty good idea of where I'm at before I enter that game. So um, really it's just been my routine. You know, it's the biggest thing. It gets you ready for, for, all, for every game, you know, every time of game too. So uh, that's huge. Hey, Alex, uh, when we watch you guys, and you mentioned the clubhouse, but when you, when you guys do something well, whether it be you, Beatty, uh, anybody on the team, Cody, uh, there's a genuine love and appreciation from the from the dugout pouring out on the field, and everybody seems like they're really rooting for each other, which is a really good thing to see because it, it feels like you guys are a tight-knit group. Um, but along those lines, are there any competitions between each other? Like, I'm going out to get three hits today. Uh, I'll bet you I get four. I bet you I get more than you. I bet you I hit one out today. Is there anything like that going on? Uh, I don't know if there's really many of that going on. I mean, I'm sure there's, like, you know, some jokes around. Like, I, I like to tell Belly, like, hey, man, if you go, like, I go. And then he'll just mess around and be like, man, no, you got to go first. You're ahead of me. So when you go, I go. So, uh, but – yeah, I mean, we kind of, you know, when when everything's going good, you everybody feels good at the plate. Yeah, you might you might have a little little friendly competitions like that, or or you know, you say, hey, watch this, I'm gonna try to pick my spot and and send one. <laughs> uh, all right, Alex, talking about Cody Bellinger, uh, two games in a row, girls have run out of the crowd and tried to hug him. So, what are you thinking as you're standing there watching this happen? I'm laughing, man. I'm laughing. I'm thinking, <laughs> Cody, you got to at least like, give this girl like a side hug or something. She's going to get arrested. You Make it worth it. <laughs> you a little jealous they're not running out to hug you? No, no, no. no. That's okay. I think, I think if they ran after me, I'd probably just mess around and try to do like a little like run away from them or something. <laughs> so, no, it, it's fun. I like to see it with Cody. I like to see how he handles it. And, and his like, you know, his after reaction is always the best. Hey, we appreciate you coming on today. Everybody's so proud of what you're accomplishing, and, and you should be proud of yourself. You're making all the Dodger fans really happy. Thank you. I appreciate it.